In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best possible limited team for season four, week number three in NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys can see, the game requirements are going to be on the screen. You must use 13 players from the same franchise. So basically, it's going to be a theme team. If you guys play Madden or something like that, it's going to be 13 players from the same team. So everyone on the squad obviously has to be from the same NBA team. And then you may use up to one pink diamond, two diamonds and one amethyst. You are, you are going to get four really good players and then the rest have to be ruby or below. For me, guys, what I will say I think the most fun thing to do is just use your favorite NBA team and try to build the best possible team with that. Yes, it's not going to be unless your favorite team is one of the teams I'll talk about in this video. I think just using your favorite team will definitely be more fun to play in limited. Now, now it doesn't mean necessarily you're going to win a lot of games or you're going to have a lot of success with it, but I just think it might be a little bit more fun. So if you guys want to do that and use your favorite squad, that's what I would personally recommend. And that's what I'm going to do. If I do decide play, uh, to play limited this week, I will definitely be using my Raptors uh, Raptors team team because that's obviously my favorite squad in the nba so for me that's what i would personally do but if you guys are wondering you know what what are the best nba teams to use to have the most success to win games i would say if you guys have tim thomas it is easily going to be the bucks and the reason why it's the bucks because you get tim thomas who's obviously the best card in the game or number two right after yao ming like i think he's still the second best card debatably even number one over yao ming so for me if you get that on a limited team he's going to help you cook everybody in limited because they're going to be running you know these theme teams with some sapphires and maybe some rubies in their starting lineup and just teams that are all over the place so tim thomas will just be able to fry the teams and then also i don't exactly have the diamond card but you guys can also use diamond Giannis as well he's probably still one of the best you know budget power forwards in my team for me though i would have to use i guess his amethyst version i wouldn't actually probably run this theme team because like i said i'm around the bucks or sorry i'm around the raptors and if i were to run the bucks i would go ahead and just buy his diamond he's only about 10 to 15 thousand mt last time i checked so he's going to be our first diamond player and he's going to be really nice next to a guy like tim thomas I mean, those two players alone are going to be super nice to have. And then the next best card I would go with is going to be the Diamond Drew Holiday, who I also don't have. But if you guys got his card for the moment, I think he's probably the next best uh, Bucks Diamond card. I'm trying to think if there's any other really good Bucks card that are Diamond. I think Drew Holiday is probably one of the best ones to run, though. So if you guys got his card from the moment, he's actually in the token market real quick. Let me see how many tokens he has. Let me just show some gold gold cards in the lineup. And let me just quickly go see, you know, how many tokens it does cost to get him. Because if he's cheap, I might go get him if I wanted to run this Bucks team team. Because like I said, he's probably the next best diamond for the Bucks. If you guys don't know, all the moments cards are in the token market. So he's fit, uh, 60 tokens. Yeah, I'll go buy him for 60 tokens. That's easy. I mean, 60 tokens for a really good diamond card. That's going to be nice and limited. We will definitely take that. So if you guys, you know, need this card, you, you, 60 tokens, I mean, right there, right? You don't have to grind for him anymore because he's not available. But if you need him, right, for the Steam team, that's why it's cool how they put them in the token market. And it's not just, you know, expired agenda. So it's really nice that you're able to pick up a Drew Holiday. So now I can have him in the lineup. And now if I just go buy Diamond Giannis, I can actually build a squad. But yeah, Drew Holiday, definitely going to be our starting point guard. I think he's the next best Diamond Bucks card, and he's a really good defensive point guard, especially going to be good alongside Tim Thomas and obviously Giannis as well. So now we do get one Amethyst. And I wasn't exactly sure who I did want to go with. For the Amethyst, there's really not that many great ones. I mean, you could go Oscar Robinson. He's actually not that bad. Like, he's a six foot five point guard. He can shoot the three ball. He can handle the ball. He's not going to be the best defender. But next next to a guy like Drew Holiday, I feel like is not terrible. If you also wanted to go Sidney Moncrief, you could. He's only six foot three, though, at the shooting guard position. I mean, he does give you good defense. I would say for the team, or for the players I have, I would go Oscar Robinson or Robinson. I'm not exactly sure if there's any better Amethyst. I mean, what you can do to see, though, right? is go to the uh go to the theme or not theme go to the color sorry go color and then search up amethyst and then go down to the team and just put it to bucks and then you can see you know all the good amethyst cards i mean what you could possibly do if there's any good other good diamond bucks cards you could run the amethyst Giannis, right this one from the fire set or the token market one and then you could go pick up a really good diamond bucks player because I think this is probably the only Amethyst Bucks player on the auction house, or at least one of the best one. I think Sidney Moncrief you can buy off the auction house and uh, Oscar Robinson as well. So I think those are the only three auctionable Bucks players. So let me just quickly check. Is there any good diamond ones besides Giannis and Cream? I mean, you could run Cream if you wanted to. You could go Amethyst Giannis and then go Diamond Cream. That's not a terrible idea as well. It might actually be the best play here because Diamond Cream is still pretty good. He's going to be a great rebounder, obviously going to be a really good defender. So that might be the best move. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Maybe go Amethyst Giannis and then go Diamond Cream at the center position. So I'm just going to throw Pink Diamond Cream in the lineup. Obviously, you guys would use the Diamond version. And then I'd probably go Amethyst Giannis and just run this team like this. And then for the Amethyst, uh, or sorry, for the Rubies, because now you got to use the Rubies for the Bucks players. I don't think there's really that many uh, great Ruby cards. I mean, you could throw Grayson on the lineup because he can shoot threes and actually has an okay jump shot. So this would probably 
probably be my best possible starting lineup. Drew Holiday, Grayson Allen, Tim Thomas, Giannis, and Kareem. Obviously, would be the Diamond Kareem, and then go get the Fire Giannis, or you can use the Token Market one if you wanted to. And then, like I said, if there's maybe, you know, if you wanted to go Diamond Giannis and then pick up another Amethyst or go the Oscar Robinson, you could definitely go that route as well. Now, I will talk about the next best team, guys. So, this is like the best starting lineup. You guys can just put other Bucks players on the bench. I don't think the, I don't think the bench matters too much in Limited because it's only four minute quarters and a lot of people rage quit in the first half. So, now let me just quickly tell you guys about the next best team, which is going to be the Magic. Now, at the point guard position, you guys would want to go Penny Hardaway. Obviously, the Pink Diamond, he's going to be the best Magic player in the game. So, you want to go him at the point guard spot. I don't exactly have Penny Hardaway, but just pretend Penny is at the point guard position. A uh, small uh, shooting guard will be Mike Miller, obviously, going to be a really good three point shooter. Jonathan Isaac, he will be at the small forward spot. I don't have him anymore. He's obviously from the Tis of Season set. He is a really good diamond card. So, he would be your starting small forward. Power forward, I'd probably go with the Wenyan. Not Wenyan. Um, what what is his name? What the hell is his name? It's um uh oh my god, what's his name? I don't remember his name. I, I gotta see the card. It's uh Wendell. Wendell Carter Jr. He'd be the Ruby. And then at the center position, you go with Mo Bamba. I think I do actually have Bamba on the team or, or in my collection. I don't have Bamba. Okay, so yeah, Bamba would be your center. So the lineup guys would be oh wait, do I have Diamond Cream? I sure I have Diamond Cream. I don't know why I was using the uh I don't know why I was using the pink diamond to show you guys. I actually have the diamond one. So yeah, so your lineup for the magic one, your starting lineup would be Penny Hardaway, Mike Miller, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter Jr. And um, what's his name? And uh, Mo Bamba as your starting center. That's probably the next best theme team I would run. And then obviously your bench can just be other magic players. But let me know in the comment section down below what team you guys are gonna be running in limited. And maybe let me know some like suggestions or upgrades you guys make to the teams I talked about. But hopefully you guys did enjoy and the video to help you guys out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.